important thing here is that we get to the part where you ask me how I'm going to get down to the shore. Oh, how you getting down to the shore? Funny you should ask. I've got a car now. Oh, wow. How'd you get a car? Oh, my folks drove it up here from the Bahamas. <laughs> You're kidding. It must be the Bahamas or islands. Okay, the important thing here is that uh, you ask me what kind of car it is. Uh, uh, what kind of car do you got? I've got a bitchin' Camaro. That was Bitchin' Camaro by the Dead Milkman off their 1985 debut album, Big Lizard in My Backyard. Kind of a comedy punk song about, like, privileged people, you know? Like, he, uh, well, the whole setup to the song, he's talking about going down to the beach and drinking where they let the kids drink. And then uh, he s talks about how his parents got him this sweet-ass Camaro. And then the main part of the song, which we just heard, comes in and uh, talks about how he hits people with his bitchin' Camaro. Uh, and gets off because his parents, you know, pay for the legal fees. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 119 of the Butthole Surfers Tournament, and if you're new here and uncertain what a Butthole Surfers Tournament is, I'll explain it briefly. Basically, we took every single Butthole Surfers track, threw them into a single elimination-style tournament, and then we make them battle head-to-head -head until there's one song standing, in the end, and that's the very best song that Butthole Surfers ever released. This is match 13 in round 4, so only a couple more matches after this. Only three more matches after this until we are in round 5, otherwise known as the quarterfinals. Super exciting time to be alive, folks. I've already listened to these songs a couple of times today, so I'll introduce them briefly and tell you of their journey. First up is Two-Parter, off of the 1985 EP Cream Corn from the Socket of Davis. This song actually was meant to be included on the Rembrandt Pussy Horse album from 1986, but it was... But since they had released it on this EP, they decided not to put it on that album. Two-Parter had a bye through the first round, so it didn't have to do anything in the first round. In the second round, it went up against They Came In, which is a pretty solid song. And then it had to go up against whatever I had a dream in round three. And that was his toughest battle, for sure. Whatever I had a dream in the second round defeated Ricky, and it went up against The Omen in the first round. It was one of the few songs that didn't get a buy in the first round, and it fell in the third round. Two-parter will be going up against Lady Sniff, which is from their 1984 debut album, Psychic, Powerless, and Other Man's Sack. In the first round, Lady Sniff had a bye, and then it went up against Goofy's Concern in the second round. Goofy's Concern was a pretty decent song, but Lady Sniff really won my heart right out of the gate. Then Lady Sniff went up against Cowboy Bob in round three. Cowboy Bob is a solid song from the same album as Lady Sniff, but uh, just didn't hold up for me anyway, compared to Lady Sniff. Cowboy Bob had a bye through the first round, and in the second round went up against American Woman, which is a cover of the song by the Guess Who. So since we've already heard these a couple times before, let's just go ahead and get right into these songs. First up, we have Two-Parter.
super good freak out at the end. Uh, I love the guitars throughout that. The the music in general is just really good. Um, and I love the like the sparse lyrics. There's only a few lyrics in here, but they're really good. Um, like then the white man sold quaaludes to the monkeys. And they're all you and me dying high up in the trees. Basically, it's one of those songs that just kind of warns you about uh, the way the establishment is and what they do to you. We're the monkeys. We're the ones that are just down here trying to, you know, trying our hardest to get the next dollar. Meanwhile, they're all incredibly rich and they don't care about any of us. I don't think that's too political of a thought, really. Rich people really don't care about the poor people. Everybody knows that, right? Anyway, let's go up against Lady Sniff. Let's see how that stacks up. Murray, 
So kind of like a tough choice here. Like there's one song that I really enjoy for the uh, the entertaining aspect of it. It's really funny. Um, it does have really cool instruments, but musically, I like two parter a lot more. It's a uh, message is also pretty good. Like it's a lot more of a serious message. I mean, it's still told in a uh, semi jokey fashion. It's definitely a lot more serious than Lady Sniff is. It's a really tough choice, but I think if I had to pick one to carry on into the quarterfinals, we've already heard both of them three times now, so they've uh, they've definitely done well, and there's no shame in losing here. But I'm going to choose two-parter. Lady Sniff is a great song, and it cracks me up. I love it, and I'll listen to it whenever it comes on. I'll listen to that whole song. Uh, two-parter is the same, I'll listen to that whole song, but it just, uh, I feel like it's a bit better of a song. As far as, like, having a message goes and, and getting a point across. Um, whereas Lady Sniff is clearly them having a lot of fun in the studio, which is definitely really cool, too. Um, I like to see songs with a little bit more, I like to see songs with a bit more meat on them that you could, uh, you know, Take it apart a bit more. And Lady Sniff, the, the most I could take apart is what are the weird sounds I'm hearing? Like, is that puking? Yes, that's puking. <laughs> I don't know. That's just how I feel the night, anyway. I've got social media if you want to talk about it. We have it on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, there's a polling system on the Instagram, so you can vote for your so you can vote for your song there if you'd like to. Uh, we also have a TikTok, which just shortens these videos, cuts the songs out mostly, and uh, gives you a lot more time in your day. Um, but, you know, consume it how you want. I'm a full-form guy. Some people might like little bite-sized bits. I've got both for you. I link the songs down below in the description, so if you'd like to check them out on their own, feel free to do that. I highly recommend checking out uh, Bitch and Camaro by Dead Kennedys. Like, I played just the end part of it. There's, like, this whole, like spoken word sketch at the beginning of it that's pretty funny too i also linked the tournament down in the description so you can see what the next three days hold for us before we hit the quarterfinals we also have a venmo and a cash app so if you feel like we uh, need a little bit of dough please send us a little bit of dough uh like this video if you do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're getting almost to 200 um once we hit 200 i'm just gonna start begging for 300 so let's just go ahead and get that over with Share the video with your friends and family and share it with your not friends and share it with your not family and share it with your coworkers and share it with uh, sh share it with that lady over there. Comment down below with which choice you would have made had you been in the hot seat today. I know it's a super hard choice today, but someone's got to do it and it's my channel, so I guess it's me. Hmm? I hope you have a great night, fantastic afternoon, a wonderful morning. I will see you in just a few minutes for the Beatles. Bye. Well, my dog has stinky farts, so maybe we'll go, uh, go potty first.